Well, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video is uh, something that I wanted to do for a while. It involves this here box, this here saw, and a nice straight log. Hopefully, what I've seen on YouTube and what I've done a little bit of research on will come to fruition, and we might have possibly the cheapest sawmill you can get on Amazon. And it might work. So this here is a timber tough uh, lumber cutting guide. So this here is uh, something I've seen on, on YouTube and I'll, I'll show you here now on the table. Now of course I've already had it open and tried it a little bit. So it's it's made to fit a 2x6. This here is just a little added guide so this here can fit a 2x4 which is what I'm going to be uh, running with. Basically what it is is you put your saw bar in here, your chain runs underneath this here so it don't strike either part of the metal, and your timber tough runs along it like this here and as you're maneuvering the bar uh, it'll cut your log and you run it along this guide. So basically you're using the principles of Alaskan sawmill uh, with your chainsaw but um, a lot cheaper and a bit more simple. I'll show you a bit more I guess on this here. These here are three set screws that uh, lock your bar in place. Take these here set screws and it kind of keeps your bar in place. When you're running along your junk, as you can imagine, you tip it and it's a runner. It takes a bit of prep work, uh, you know, to make sure that the line you're cutting on your log is straight and make sure everything is all working in line and that. So just to show you on Amazon, uh, it's regular $51, but it's on sale now like uh, for 30 bucks. So you're getting basically a sawmill for $30. So this here is the old piece of 2x4 I'm using and I just want to make sure everything is all straightened and lined up. All right, the next step is to find a nice chunk of wood. Okay, I got my uh, junk up here on these two chunks of wood, and I'm gonna put them down. I'm gonna side this here side, but I'm gonna bracket them down the other side with these two L brackets, and hopefully she stays. <laughs> Only one spot there, I think, where 
saw so might have redirect it. I'm gonna take the axe now and just flatten it out. Pretty cool. So obviously this being our first time at it, you know, you're not gonna have the most perfect cut, but it is, it's not too bad. And this here little bird, that's no odds. She's pretty square right here. That rot don't go very far. After you do that, after you does it for a while, you'll get it down to a Oh size. yes. Yeah, no, so one you'll last find, cut now. You find out what works, what don't work. Yeah. Well, the good news is it's it's fairly it's fairly square. We're doing with a saw and look at there, it's just not bad. No. There you go. My honest opinion about the thirty dollar Amazon uh, sawmill. It uh, it definitely is a good buy if you were to uh, be doing up a few posts now i don't know how good it'd be for doing lumber at first uh, the blade was a bit dull we sharpened it up and the last pass we i did was probably my fastest and best yet it's the cleanest and it was probably like i said the quickest it's square you just got to take a bit of time to make sure it is squared up so they had size just basically perfect for what i'm doing i know you can get bigger size with bigger bars for for sawn lumber but that's a 60 cc husqvarna the blade sharp is a heavy saw and uh, it cuts through that like butter actually that juniper I thought that was gonna be a bit tougher match for it but but it's not but hopefully when we get some fur logs that'll be uh, it'll pass through like it's nothing and uh, yeah super super pleased how it worked anyway hope you like today's video don't forget to like subscribe comment and uh, we'll see you on the next adventure and I'll make sure to put a, a link to the cheapest salmon on Amazon uh, in the description below